Hey there everybody, in this episode we are going to make a star and here are some dimensions you can use. If you're 3D printing like we are, I'm trying to limit to about two and a half to three inches. Um, don't forget the hole for if you're making this like a key fob or if you're putting it on like a Christmas tree or an ornament thing. Uh, don't forget that. Um, also, you'll notice there's a couple ways. We've extruded everything, but this is a loft, so you can do kind of either or. So it could look like this. So let's get started. We're going to hit File, New, and we're going to do everything in inches here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. For some reason, that pops up on mine all the time. Uh, let's go with start new sketch and I'm going to pick the bottom sketch, this XZ sketch right there. I'm going to hit the down and find polygon. I'm going to start with a five sided polygon. So I guess mine defaults to six sides. So let's go five side, start always in the origin and then go out like that. I'm going to go like vertical. And I'm going to say that I want this top point and this bottom to be um, 2.5. Go zoom out a little bit, or you can double tap that center mouse button. Then we're going to grab a line tool and play connect the dots. So um, I am making a five-sided or a five-point star. And um, you'll notice that I'm playing connect the dots. And you're also noticing probably as I get close to those dots, it's kind of snaps to it. Um, another thing is you can change the polygon to like six side or eight side, and you can make all kinds of different pointed stars. The tool we're going to use is the trim tool next. So I'm going to click on trim, and then I'm going to get rid of these spots. You could even, well, probably can't get rid of those because of that dimension, but you could delete that dimension and start deleting it, but then it might get a little too big for you. So finish your sketch, double click, and you can hit extrude, and then you can change this to 0.1. So you've got a star there. Yes, that looks like a star, and you could totally be happy with that and add a circle there, but I am going to make it a loft. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit delete. I do not want to um, delete everything. I just want to keep my sketch. So I'm going to uncheck that box and hit OK. And now we're going to hit plane and offset plane. Oops, sorry. I need to turn on a plane. So again, let's find that XZ plane. I'm going to turn right click and turn on the visibility. And now I'm going to hit the down arrow here, offset this plane, click it there, and I'm going to go up like 0.15 or maybe 0.1. I'll leave that up to you. Then I'm going to click on that work plane and start a sketch. You'll notice I'm on this work plane and I'm now on sketch two. Let's add a point right in the middle. So right there. I click on it and I hit finish sketch. I'm gonna hit the home view to kind of bring this back. So the loft tool, this is, might be something new for you. So hit loft, you're going to click on the outside and you'll notice things like start changing colors, but it's really hard to tell with certain monitors and if your monitor's turned out. So you can kind of see mine turns a lighter brown there inside the star. So I wanna click that one time, then I wanna click, click to add and then I want to click on that point that we made earlier and everything goes to that one point, which I think is super cool. Hit OK and I can turn off, right click, turn off the visibility there. I can right click, turn off the visibility there and we've got something that's almost done. So as I flip that to the top view, you can then rotate it around. You can click on the back side and then we can um, start a sketch, click on the um, click pro uh, project geometry, click on the back side, click a circle, go like right above one of those lines, make it slightly smaller. And according to our directions, 
the circle is 0 0.08. Remember right. Oh wait. Um, let's make it 0 0.15. That looks a little better. And then let's go from uh, dimension again from like this top point to the center of that. That doesn't want to. Well, in my case, it's saying 0.4 is correct. I picked the wrong area. So let's go like point. Oh, that's. Yeah, let's keep it. 0.4, 0 0.35. Hit finish sketch, extrude. And then I want to click on that part. Sometimes um, hitting your home is a little bit better. I want to flip the direction. And I want to make sure it's going through all of it. I hit OK. And we can see we've got a hole there. So nice and pretty. Uh, if you want to, you can change the color of it. Uh, right now, I would say hit File, hit Save As. Make sure that you save it to your Google Drive. I need to save it to my folder here. I'm going to call this star and then, of course, your initials on there. Hit save and then um, decide on what color you want on the MakerBot or on the 3D printer and go ahead and pick that and follow those directions for 3D printing. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of the day.